Alright guys, I'm going to do a little bit of some process shots here. Just do a little bit of practicing. Right here I'm starting with some uh, white and uh, black, a little bit of purple added to it. Make it like a grayish uh, purple. And we're going to do uh, two mixes. One, this light gray, next, solid black. So let's go ahead and start knocking these highlights, I mean these uh, shadows in. I went ahead and started out first with uh, white, just to define all my, my detail and my shadows. You guys watch my, uh, how to make an object look like glass. You kind of see more or less where I'm going with this. I'm going to go ahead and flood that in solid gray, that way we can get a nice shade of black to gray within that area. Nice solid drop shadow. Drop my pressure a little bit. Probably working at about 15-20 um, eh, PSI, uh, something like that. It's flooding really strong where it needs to be flooded. And I'm preserving some of my highlights coming from around the edge right here, all the way through. Pattern in the crown. And behind the crown, we're going to put a crazy gesture hat just kind of flying all over the place. And we're going to go ahead and flood that solid as well.
All this is pretty stylized. A lot of just sharp edge shapes to give it a cool kind of sharp edge look. Solid here. Alrighty. This is just a quickie so you get the idea. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go to my black here. Reduce black. This comes out like a charcoal. Very nice blend with the uh, gray we had in there. to find these te teeth here, give them a nice sharp edge look. Want them to look nice and sinister. And then a, sh a lot of shadow where the gums end. It's going to come in with a solid Spectratex black and just come in real strong and just go to town. I'm going to bring this paint up to about 45 PSI. How many minutes are we at? We're going to go ahead and cut it off and uh, get ready for part two.